You'll also need an SD card. I'll be using a 2 gigabyte. Then for the controls, you can just turn your Wii Remote sideways like that. Or you can connect your nunchucks to your Wii Remote. And you can use the joystick. Or if you have a GameCube controller, you can use that instead. Let's get started. Alright, first you can follow the link in the video description and download Visual Boy Advanced GX. Just click download. And then download this zip file at the top. Or if your Wii is connected to the internet, you can download it using the homebrew browser. And once it's finished downloading, you can just right click and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. So. Then you can copy the two folders to your SD card. Click yes. Then copy and replace if you get it. And then next you'll need to download the ROMs. These are the actual game files. You can download them from ROM Hustler or Cool ROM or Dope ROMs. I'll be using uh, Cool ROM. So you can just scroll down and click on the game you want to download. Then scroll down and click download now. Then wait for it. Then click download your file. When you're ready, you can go to the VBA GX folder on your SD card, then go to the ROMs folder. Then you may choose to separate your Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance ROMs, but it's optional. Then you can just copy your ROMs to that folder. SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. You can go to the homebrew channel. Okay, and then you can go to Visual Boy Advanced GX. load okay, first I'll demonstrate a Game Boy Color okay, let's play Tetris home, go to the main menu, and next I'll demonstrate a Game Boy Advance game, let's play Pokemon. Home. 
go to the main menu. Exit. Then press home. And exit the system menu. You can also download the custom uh, channel or forwarder that I've created and install it using Multimod Manager or WAD Manager. Leave a comment and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website.